All right, what I have today is something I think is pretty cool. Here I have the EA Sheen EF01 FPV AIO cam. I purchased this from Banggood. And I have my field view HD777 uh, monitor. Over here is the uh, XK Whirlwind X251. And what I've done here is I've taken the the stock camera port and I've used let's see if you can see that the green wire is the one closest to the front and the yellow wire so the green is the positive and the yellow is the negative and so it was my guess that that since this is a regulated 5 volts rather than the 7.4 that's coming through here that the voltage regulator would do a pretty decent job of filtering the signal so that it doesn't get any interference from the motors and it works it works really good in fact I took it out today uh, I took it out today and flew it and flew at least 200 meters without losing signal which I thought that was really cool um, a friend of mine fr printed this uh, 3d mount and I stuck it on there with double-sided sticky tape and I wired this camera in one of the things I did do is I put uh, micro low C so I could like plug this camera into other devices because uh, some of the other devices may have a different cable like Simon has a three pin cable and I got a bunch of three pin four pin and micro low Z cables uh, I think 20 pairs of each uh, off of eBay for like four dollars a package and I just soldered them together and then I have this little loop here this was actually this little loop was meant to carry a one of those tiny stick batteries like you would have in a, uh, the Inductrix uh, but I just used it to hold the excess wire and it flies really good uh, I did not do any any acro with this but I didn't lose signal at, at 200 meters it was still going strong and let me show you don't do this at home but I'm gonna take the transmitter and turn off the lock I know you're not supposed to do this with the props on but I'm just gonna spin the motors up a little bit and you can see I'm not really getting any significant interference when I did that with the Sima X5HC I did the same thing I hooked it up with a three pin connector on the Sima and ran it from the Sima's power source it worked but when the blades spun up I got wavy lines all across the monitor so this camera is not filtered but the uh, voltage regulator in the X251 is doing a great job of filtering so there you go I hope you like this uh, this turned out to be a really cool modification and it was a lot of fun I had a blast with it today enjoy